All right, farmers, welcome back to the channel. All right, so today is part three of the great post patch mod drop on Farming Simulator 22. So what we got today is the trailer edition. So everything trailer linked, trailer wise, whatever you want to call it, that's come out with the great mod drop after we had the console post issue upgrade. Right, so we'll start off. Okay, what we've got in front of us for the first one is the Lizard Trailer Pack by Kaztam18 and the Falork. And we've got these four trailers here. Okay, so we'll go into the shop menu under trailers as you can imagine. All the way at the end, we've got these four here. We've got the D83, the D83 Tipper, the D616 and the D616 Tipper. So all the options are the same on all of them. Obviously you change the capacity between the 83 and the 616. The capacity is different. But other than that, all the options are the same. So we've got the 8,700, 15,500, 16,700, 17,500. And we go down a little, 14.9, 23.5. And then bale trailer side. And then bale trail no side. So that's the capacity option on the 83. And then we've got the branded options on the tyres. We've got bars. It will change the colour. Sides, you've got the flat at the moment. Or you can have the wavy. And then on the floor, you've got the wooden floor. It's not showing it on that one. So we go back up to the wooden one. Like so. Okay, it's not showing the wooden floor. That's interesting. Okay. Then we've got mug flaps. We've got yes or no. Then you've got attachers on the back. You've got no. Or trailer hitch, so you can make yourself a nice little train with it if you want to. Fenders, there we've got the metal ones or the plastic. And we can change the chassis colour from anything on there. We'll change the chassis. Extension colour, anything on there. We'll change the main body. Then colour 2 and cover colour. It doesn't give, obviously it gives you the option to change it, but then there's no option for the cover. So, we'll change the rim colour, like that. We can change license plate, but there is no option for a cover, which is strange. Even on the top one, there's no option for cover, but it gives you a cover a cover colour change option, which is a bit random. Anyway, apart from the capacities, they're all the same options on all four of these. The only difference between the standard version and the tipper is when you come to unload it, the tippers will tip to the side and unload. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Obviously, the capacity options on the bigger ones. There we go. All the way to the end. So, you start off at 10,100 litres. And it will go all the way up to 27,400. So, pick what you like. Pick the capacity that you like. Obviously, slightly smaller and slightly larger. Tipper or no tipper. Entirely up to you. There is one thing I thought was a little bit weird with them. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll go load one up and I'll meet you at the silo. Right, so I'm at the silo now. So I've got it set on tip side back. So we'll unload. And it has this weird creeping situation on the go. It's unloading, but it's moving, which is a bit random. So if I stop that now... Even on, let me spin it around. Even on the ones 
that the tip left or tip right it does the same to spin it around or tip left so the, the flaps open up on the side nose but the whole trailer is creeping to the right which is a bit random apart from that you know it's a nice mod it's all right you know fairly medium on the size capacity so nothing too big but no that's all right that is apart from the creeping options so i don't know whether that's going to need an update in the future or that's just going to be left as it is but there we are that is the lizard trailer pack by castan 18 and the floor that is 45.90 megabyte on the download right next up is this this is the class cargos 8400 it's by schnibble modding 14.85 megabyte on the download and it's a forage wagon so loading wagon forage wagon whatever you want to call it obviously you've got the pickup on the front and it's going to load it all into the back so you'll find this in the shop under loading wagons or forage wagons whatever you want to call it there we are 105 and a half grand to buy a couple of options on the tyre brands and then wide or standard tyres you've also got the option to add the silage additive tank if you want to so if you're going to be using uh, this what's it called the silage additive is it bio anyway you know what I mean the silage additive so you want to add that straight in whilst you're doing your foraging that's entirely up to you oh, but that's alright that is class cargoes What's the capacity on it? Let me have a look at that again. Right, 42,000 litres on that one. So it needs 240 horsepower from your tractor. That's going to take grass, straw, silage, hay and chaff. So that is all right. Nicely detailed. I've got stuck. No, I like that one. That's all right. If you're going down the road of having a a one brand on your farm this could come in nicely if you're going with the class excellent so that's the class cargoes 8400 by schnibble modding now on to this one this is the pottinger faro 5010d this is also by schnibble modding and this is also a forage wagon so again you're going to find this under your forage wagons there we are, 75 and a half grand to buy, 32,000 litre capacity and requires 150 horsepower from your tractor. So it's going to take the same as the class, grass, straw, silage, hay and chaff. Colour options on the tyre brands, nothing on the actual tyre size and you can also add the silage additive tank to the front of that as well. So pottage it been in the game for a while so this is not a new brand for people but again that's all right i do like the details on these mods you know you've got the hoses out the front and the, the pickup it's very detailed i do like these very nice indeed excellent right okay that's the pottinger faro 5010d right on to this one this is the Flegel ASW271. It's by June Threes, 5.40 megabyte on the download, and it is a trailer, but a trailer with a bit of a difference. So if we go into trailers, and we'll go all the way along to the end to find it. There we are, 52 grand to buy, and it's gonna take everything absolutely everything it will hold it's one of those trailers 26 to 31 and a half thousand litre capacity there is some options on it so you've got configuration there you've got standard or manure spreader so you can buy this as a tank as a as a trailer sorry and use it for carting your stuff around or you can add the manure spreader to it now if you are going to do that bear in mind 
that you will only be able to put manure in if you've got the manure spreaders on the bank that will turn it into a manure spreader so if you want it as a standard tanker trailer not tanker trailer you need to have it as standard otherwise you're not going to be able to carry everything in so just bear that in mind then we've got a couple of options on the tire brands and then down the side you can either have without warning signs daylight red warning signs orange warning signs white warning signs that you can't really see yellow or without again you can change the main color from white green red yellow or black and then you can change the license plate if you want to excellent and this one we've got here i did have the manure spreader on the back and i did fill it up which is how i know it will turn only into manure spreader if you have that option on but as a trailer that's all right that is flegal very nice indeed so that's the flegal asw 271 by june threes all right on to this one this is the Jens BA725D Mobile Wood Chipper. This is by Camillos0397, 7.31 megabytes on the download. And as you can imagine, you're going to find this in forestry. There we are. So we'll find it at the end. 64 grand to buy. Options on the tyre brands. You can change the main colour anything on there and you can change the rim color on the wheels to whatever you fancy and it is a mobile wood chipper so what you can do with this you can get into the vehicle so we'll unfold it now we'll start the engine first we'll unfold it and we'll put the pipe out like so so if we go over to our pickup truck here and we'll grab some logs and we'll chuck them in turn it on Oh, start the engine first, then turn it on. There we are. And I haven't chucked the log in far enough. Right. There we go. Log's gone in. So now, saying from that one log, we got 846 litres of wood chips inside. So that's going to store it with a capacity of 5,000 litres. So once you reach that 5,000 litre mark, you're then going to want to unload into a trailer. I'll just chuck this one in as well. There we are. You've got to get it on that moving bed there. Oh, it doesn't like that bit. Not right that way. Hmm. That's interesting. It's having a bit of a wobble with that log. Alright, it didn't like that bit. Anyway, so we've got 1,146 litres in there. So once you get to that 5,000 mark, it's not going to process any more logs for you. So you're going to want to put a trailer underneath this belt here. That's then going to empty into your trailer. So once that's all done, you can just hook it up to your front of your tractor or whatever you're using to pull your stuff around. Move it to the next bit. That's excellent. Very nice indeed. Right, that's the Yens BA725D by Camillos. 0397 right so let's just turn that off and we'll move on to this one 
Right, this is the Bergman TSW 7340S manure spreader by Nicopix and it's 11.42 megabyte on the download. And as you can imagine, you're going to find it under manure spreaders. There we are. 92.5 grand to buy. Got options on the tyre brands and then you can also add wide tyres if you like. You've got options on the side so it's got no movable sides or you can have left movable side or right movable side and you can have on the back no beacons right left double or none you can then change the main color to anything on there and then you can change the rim color to anything on there painting it up to whatever you fancy excellent so this has got a 28 and a half thousand litre capacity and it's going to require 300 horsepower from your tractor so you need something fairly big on the tractor side of it but other than that ah this is all right this is all the hydraulic pipes out the front very nicely detailed i like that if you've got a load of cows on the go you've got some manure to get rid of that's excellent Right, that's the Bergman TSW 7340S by Nico Pix. Right, on to the last one for this section. And it is this. This is the Lizard Special Low Loader TLS 39. It's by HR Forst and Farsdung Bau. 3.92 megabyte on the download. And it's a low loader trailer. So you're going to find this, as you can imagine in low loaders there we are 53,890 to buy you can change the colors on that or we'll change the main frame sidewall changes the sidewall of the front part reflector color we'll go for something that we can actually see we'll change the side reflection parts if you can see that that blue line there Tension belts colour. We'll change that to green. It's the tension belts on the back ramps. And then the rim colour. We'll change the rim colour. So that's your options for that one. So what we'll do, I'll jump in this Mac. And also, since the update, the wheels don't be sliding as much or spinning, shall we say. Anyway. So press A. To fold the ramps down there we are little motion taking off the tension belts and then your ramps are down and we'll jump out there we're getting the tractor and we'll load it off so for the size of your tractor I mean when I tried this one obviously this is the Fent Black Beauty but is quite tight getting it on so if you're going for something really big like a harvester you may struggle there we are so we've got it on we'll get out and then we'll fold the ramps off then it says open cover now and this open cover is those little silver ramps behind the tractor right now so if we close it they then move to the front now there's no option for strapping down like on the others so what we'll do we'll go for a little spin and we'll see if we can tip the tractor off when I tried it earlier on it stayed pretty stable but we'll go for a spin anyway and we'll see what we can get out of it. So we're up to 30 mile an hour now. Oh no, avoidance. So the oh, that that's staying bang on where it was. So even though you haven't got the strap down option, once it's on there, it's very stable. 
No, definitely not moving. Oh, that's very nice, that is. That's excellent. Right then. That's enough of that. Messing around. Okay, so that is the Lizard Special Low Loaded TLS 39 from HR Forst and Farzung Bao. And that is it for this one. So that's all your trailer options that have come from the great mod dump after the patch. Drop it in the comments below which one you're thinking of using. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it muchly. But for me today, that's it. And I'll see you in the next one.